Well, hello there, and welcome back to the Ottoman. So, my plan to take, well, most of uh, the Old Roman Empire and thus dismantle them turned out to be, well, it didn't go well. Minster didn't join the war, Magdipo didn't join the war, and I can't declare war on them because I'm at war with the Emperor. So, what I might have to do here is declare war on them uh, right before the truce with the Emperor runs out, simply go after everyone here, all of the electors that I can. And simply try and do that in five years time then rather than the original plan. And I guess we'll actually start here by doing an administrative technology uh, upgrade here. Improved production, level 25. Production efficiency increased by 10%. Only have too much to say, we're already making a ton of money. This is not like it's a problem per se. So what I think we're going to do is just siege France, figure out what we want to hand over to a Vergne. And then we want to try and, well, ally these guys again. I broke the alliance uh, because they decided... They decided to declare war on France. France did not declare war on them, which is a hilarious little fact here. I'll actually go ahead and accept that piece, and reason is simple. By accepting that piece with the uh, Palinate, I can, to some degree here, make, well, something work, per se. As I said, by accepting that piece with the Palinate, we can probably make something work, and by that I mean we can declare war on them before the truce run out, and as such, make... Well, force the French to do whatever I want, really. That is at least a goal. We're also going to end the war here with uh, Harkin. Try to take uh, their provinces before the time runs out. Or before time runs out, which shouldn't actually be a problem either. And as such, we'll just continue on the road we have. We'll probably find Netherlands afterwards, but the goal for this war is to take Koblenz. And probably take a couple of provinces that I can then hand over to a Vergne. This will be, what, 13? 20, 22, 25, 30, 40. I think we'll just take Nevis to be on the safe side. Just take Nevis and hand over to them. Then we'll hand, well, whatever else we actually get down the line. So it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. But now, I'll just fight a wall and finish it, I think. We might also just take military tech here since we don't really have a military idea. So, metallurgy, 25. Artillery 5 plus 2 and artillery shock plus 0 0.10. Should probably help out a little bit. We are now ahead in tech, I believe. Yeah, we are. So I'll go ahead and finish the war, and then we'll see what we do afterwards. We'll probably go after Netherlands. We'll see. So our war with Arkin is over. We did manage to get the tree itself before the war ended. And with that, I think the 80,000 troops I currently have stationed in... Well, Wall Street here should basically do the job just fine. I'm going to make peace with... Uh, well, the French now, I think. Uh, the peace will probably just be a very simple one. Also, as you can see, they do actually have quite a bit of troops, uh, Netherlands, so it's going to be a kind of a tough one, I think. Why the hell they stop walking after getting to the battle? Uh, it doesn't really make too much sense. But as I said, what is going to happen here with the Netherlands, and we're going to try and take at least some land. I'm also going to take, yeah, I believe, Nevers from the French. Might actually force them to release Savoy. No. Can't force them to release Savoy. Unfortunately, I was considering it, but I apparently do not have the possibility of doing so. So what we're going to do instead is force them to give up force on anything that I or, well, the uh, uh, Vergne actually own, simply to make, to safeguard it to some extent. I'm a little bit unsure if I actually want to take anything else, because as you can see the puzzle is kind of risky already. I'm going to take Nevis and that's it. That's all they're going to get from me. It should be fine. And I don't want to take anything to actually call myself. No, do I want to release Normandy? I think I do. I can potentially feed them then, and then vassalize them. I'm a little bit unsure here. So as you can see, I'll suffer a little bit of aggressive expansion, but I think that should be fine. Hopefully that is. So uh, I'll be selling one province, and then we'll be declaring war. So I'll not be, well, really stupid. I'll just be a little bit stupid. And I think I have lost a fair bit of troops here, so I need to replenish those as well. So that should be that should be fine. I think I have full control now of where I have people. So I'll go ahead and sell by going to a Verg. And after that we'll declare one Netherlands. We'll see how it turns out. So Salzburg and as you can see, uh, Tuscany has been annexed here. The two others will be annexed shortly, so it's not something really to worry about. And I'm going to actually allow the armies that I'm going to get here from that those annexations to persist. Although, it seems that I actually this created that one without really uh, realizing it. But, as I said here, war against the Netherlands is coming. 
and we're going to declare straight away. We have truces with Alsage, uh, Palinate and Hainet, so Provence is actually the only one to actually join here, and then one province minor. So it's not really something we have to worry about. It should be a fairly easy war here. Bavaria, truce, they will not be protecting them. I'm pretty sure they won't at least. So uh, let's just fight this first battle here and see if we get total annihilation. Kind of to be predicted, or well, expected, I guess. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just, well, get sieges up. Well, as 5,000 men in each province should be, uh, it should be more than enough, really. And with that, the war is more or less already over. It seems like these guys decided to join in. So we'll just go ahead and siege them as well. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, per se. So let's just get our troops in. This is where they don't actually suffer too much overextension. The Burgers rise. Burgers are rising against the changes in our country, which has limited their powers. Clearly, they are not happy with having the privileges of the build strengthened. I guess that is uh, that is the pay, so to speak, for having aristocracy to some extent. Can't really imagine it being anything else, which is fun enough, but not really anything I can deal with right now. So what we are going to do is, I think, well, I don't need any chip back, so I'm going to join this up with this army or fleet. We're going to send 20,000 troops. I might as well just send the England branch to deal with that. But as you can see, the war against the Netherlands is done, all remains the sieges, so I'll allow them to pass, then we'll see what we'll do afterwards. So as you can see, Atria has been integrated, and with that, we basically have integrated all of our, well, vassals here. So that is perfectly fine. What we really need now is to try and get Luxembourg here, to be able, no, Bar Barouin Luxembourg, or potentially Alsace or Rayscale here. To try and get that connection through Europe uh, completed, more or less. I'm actually going to join this up with that army. I'm also going to march some armies down south there, and the reason is simple. I'm going to try and, I think, vassalize Naples, Sicily, the Knights, and possibly Genoa. Reason, of course, being that I want to annex all of them. And the next idea that we'll take is probably an extra diplomat here to be able to make uh, the biggest use of, well, said system to some extension. Let's see here. Next idea that has a diplomat, espionage. I uh, don't think anyone else actually has any, so we probably will go espionage. Can potentially use that to our advantage as well in other areas, so all of it is probably good, per se. Hopefully. Probably. Most likely, depending on how I want to look at it. So yeah, we are definitely going to try and, uh, and make something work with that. We're going to protect trade in Sevilla. So there we go. I'm a little bit unsure though how this will actually work out, so we'll have to wait and see, more or less. But we are getting some sieges done, and with that, we're getting the provinces that we want here. So, I'll finish the war with the Netherlands, and then we'll contemplate on what we want to do. This will be the deal I'll be going for here. I'll be forcing just one province over to Austria. I'll also force them to release Utrecht. I'm a little bit unsure if I should actually just take this myself. But the high base tax value kind of tells me that I probably shouldn't. Um, I also still have to call these two, I believe. I have actually completely forgotten about that. So they're still there. Adding to the other extensions, what we're going to do is force Utrecht to be released, and we're going to hand Zealand over to uh, to Austria. The plan is, of course, that then I can hopefully take Holland and Limburg in uh, the next war. So, this is the deal. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, per se. And with that, we're done with, hopefully, Netherlands. Or, oh, Netherlands will be done next uh, next war here. I'll also finally start the coring of... well, that's, it's too far away. So that's why I never called them. Makes sense though. So I might have to try and vassalize some of these people. There's once again seven like this, which is kind of bad here. So I'll have to figure another way to solve this. Probably have to go a little bit, well, more violent route per se. Try to release Lorraine. Try to basically just get more people to potentially their next candidates, more or less. I'm a little bit unsure if I actually want to go after Münster, but what I think we'll do now is go after Naples here. The Knights, Bavaria, Aragon. Uh, Bavaria, I have a truce with, as you can see, so Aragon isn't really the power that it used to be. So I think I'll actually go for bastardization of Naples, the Knights, and Aragon. I think I have the naval power to do so. So uh, that's the plan. Will it work out? That's another story entirely. But I think it will. We'll simply have to wait and see. I also have at least some ships here too, so. I'll join it up with the civilian fleet and civilian fleet, and then we should be fine. We'll see how it goes, but as you can see, they don't really have enough troops to pose too much of a threat to me, most likely. We'll see how it goes. 
So, Malta and Valencia just fell, and I learned a hilarious fact here. Guess what? Passization or annexation of uh, Aragorn is impossible, and the reason is fairly simple. There's a tiny little island down here, Fernando Po. This thing is screwing me over. Masterfully so. So I should probably not left him as long for left him alone for as long as I did. But luckily enough, Castile has an aggressive uh, aggressive ruler here. A uh, militaristic one. So what we are going to do is go on to Castile instead, size them in this war. And then sell them Alicante. That should work. It should. If it will, that's another matter entirely. So we're going to do that. We'll also vassalize the knights. I'm pretty sure I can do that. They are currently at war with Borsagaba or Genoa. The problem, however, is that they have complete victory, but they haven't actually made peace. So what I'm thinking what we do here is wait until that war actually ends before, well, deciding what I want, actually want to do here. So that could actually take a while, but I'm prepared to wait at least a little bit while. I have no idea if uh, the war will end. It probably will do if I just uh, make peace with them. So, uh, wait a little while longer and see what happens. I still want to or need to siege Castile before I can make peace anyway, so it's not a problem per se. We're just going to wait and see what uh, happens here. So, once again, the Avergne, or the people of Avergne, has decided that I want to go out to France. This time we'll accept, but let's face it, I'm not going to use any of my troops. If Austria wants to run their troops in there, fine. I'll let them do that, but I will not be using any of my troops. I don't care if France really trashes them here. They have gotten their combo going, and even if the French take anything back, the only thing these guys can really lose is the call on the machine. So uh, that is perfectly fine by uh, by my account here. We'll stay out of this, and with that, probably get into apparently a tiny bit of trouble here, especially since we're trying to convert this place, which is apparently a big no-no. So I'm going to march a little bit of big, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a big army up there, place them in Nevers. And that should probably be enough to keep the uh, keep the French at bay. At least that's what I'm hoping. So, Avergne has already lost, since I'm basically not going to sacrifice any, well, troops or energy to this war. And, let's see, am I actually at war with... Christian Oldenburg? Which way am I actually at war with here? Oh. Well, I'll help a little bit. I'll kill whoever is in my provinces. But that's also the limits of my, well, generosity in this case. It'll be interesting to see how this will actually end, but I'm pretty sure that uh, if Bern will lose, I have no idea if they'll lose in the provinces or how many they will lose, but they'll definitely lose, unfortunately, since I will not be helping them at all. Unfortunately. So, what we are going to do is just keep everything in check and uh, see how it all plays out. This is probably what I should have done in the first one, too. But I was kind of thinking of getting rid of the whole Roman Empire and, well, it didn't go my way, but there's not really much I can do about that right now. So, we're going to wait for Castile here to fall, and then we're going to vassalize them, and then we're going to vassalize Naples and the Knights. I kind of want to do an next Genoa first, but it does seem like they're planning to. We'll see how it goes. So, here we go. Castile has opted for, well, they haven't really opted for anything, but we'll forcefully vassalize them. Naples, on the other hand, I believe I can vassalize them. Yeah, I can actually vassalize Naples, the Knights too. Not really too much of a problem per se right now. But I kind of want to, them to take Corsica. They are at least trying. So I have no idea if I'll actually inherit the war per se if I do this. Probably not. The war will probably just end. Occupied by a knight still. Is this a bug of some description? We're in control of Bavaria, Genoa, and the Palinate. The Berg have refused to join us in war. Well, that's good. I, well, <laughs> help you here, slaughtered most of their enemy army, and Bavaria is actually the reason why I guess they didn't actually make peace with Corsica. Corsica become part of the knights. Well, that's actually adorably great. <laughs> and adorably is probably not the, adorable, it's probably not the right word, but it works to my advantage and then I'm happy with it. So what we're going to do is just siege some of the Bavarian provinces, and that I think should be enough to force the peace we want here. I'll also not go ahead and kill that 70,000 French army. I have slaughtered most of their army, to be perfectly honest, but I'll not be slaughtering that uh, piece of army, so to speak, which should be fine. What I'll be waiting for now is sieging of uh, Naples and also finishing, I guess, the war with the knights before we take get Aragon from them. So in that manner, it should be fine. So, 
I'll just go ahead here and see if I can get a deal that the Barbarians are happy with. And this actually works for me. I don't really need them to make anything special. I just want Corsica. So if they just give me that, I'm perfectly content. And with that, we actually have something handed over to the Knights. Which is great. So, everyone is happy, or I am happy. I think I'm going to peace out of this right now. And that was at least my intention. So I might have to destroy a little bit of French army here to, well, make peace here. Palinate has left the military coalition. I haven't actually conquered anything myself, so that's probably why. And we are also going to go ahead and kick that French army's butt. And with that, I believe this is, well, the end of this war, hopefully. So, can I peace my way out of this? You know full well that you'll win if you just allow me to peace out. That is a fact. Everyone can tell you that. Or mostly everyone. Um, let's see, what do we want to do after this war is done? We'll probably want to go after... Sicily? Or do we want to really go after anyone? I'll have four vassals once that point actually comes, so I'm a little bit unsure what I actually want to do. Four vassals, I can have five. One, two. I'll probably go ahead and declare war on Sicily and massalize them too, just to have some more and to an X. Then we'll fight another war for Austria's probably two last provinces, then we'll annex them. After that, however, I'm a little bit unsure. Simply have to wait and see. But hopefully France will allow me to peace out soon enough. We'll see how it goes. Oh, unfortunately, I've been chatting for so long that I didn't actually realize I've been out of time. So we'll continue this war next time. As you can see, I haven't taken a really passive role in a war against France. I lost one battle, but other than that, we have had our, well, big stack here just tumbling through their army, destroying it. So I've been doing my part, more or less. So I'm pretty sure Olverg really wanted me to siege everything they own. But... I'm going to probably, as I said, Vassalize Naples, take one Aragonese province, and Vassalize Sicily next time. I'm a little bit unsure what I want to do with the Old Roman Empire right now. So, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. Please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.